just in. Breaking news tonight out of Paris. We just found out that our nation's most ionically famous person, Kim Chlorobutane, has been the victim of a nucleophilic attack. This morning at 11, Kim Chlorobutane is walking back to hotel from a lovely store in Paris when she was kidnapped by a nucleophile. This was later categorized as a SN2 attack, orchestrated by an iodine ion. This ion attacked Miss Chlorobutane from behind, leaving her stunned and terrified. Without any extra security, Miss Chlorobutane was taken away. Further investigation from the ion forensics team only shows a trace of Miss Chlorobutane's leaving group, a chlorine ion. A sketch artist has drawn this depiction of what the attacker and Miss Chlorobutane would look like now after the attack. If you see this molecule, please call OCHEM at 409-555-3053. Our best police officers also think that the attacker may be posing under the name Butyl Iodide to disguise himself and Miss Chlorobutane as they are on the run. We will do our best to keep you updated throughout the night as more news about the scintillating attack of Kim Chlorobutane comes in. Now on to sports. And... Tonight is the annual draft for the Organic Substitution League. As you all know, this year, the SN1 Super Sterix had the overall number one pick. We talked to the GM of the Super Sterix, and after asking him what he thinks his team needs to reach the next level, he said that they're looking for a strong leaving group to round out their team and help speed up their offense. Our top picks selected by the draft panel are looking pretty great out there. They are tooling sulfonic acid, ammonia, and dihydrogen monoxide. Our panelists chose these players because they are low in pKa, low in electronegativity, and are generally great weak bases. All of these are important factors in a star leaving group. Going to the opposite side of the spectrum, let's talk a bit about the players that teams want to avoid drafting this season. And Thanks, Adam. These teams don't want to draft selfish players. Even though some players have low pKa, they are extremely electronegative and are not willing to function as a leaving group. These not-so-great players are the amide ion, the hydroxide ion, and the fluorine ion. Teams should stay away from these players. That's all for sports. And from all of us here at OCHEM News, we hope that all the teams receive the best leaving group to get the best chemical reactions this season. We thank you again for joining us for this special edition of your favorite chemistry newscast. Have a wonderful afternoon, and join us again tomorrow at OCHEM News. You'll never see the likes of me, baby.